Hello everyone, a very warm welcome uh, in this course on process calculations. More commonly, it is known as material and energy balance. So, uh, why we are studying material and energy balance? Because it forms um, the basis or core for all chemical engineering courses. Okay, so it is very important that you understand that these conserved quantities, material and energy or mass and energy, these are conserved quantities and you can write balance equations across any equipment or across any process. So we will go through step by step, we will see how these balance equations are used for simple and complicated systems. So for simple systems we can have a batch or a semi batch or you, we can also have a continuous process. Then we can write these uh, balance equations for steady state as well as unsteady state. And these balance equations they take the form of uh, either integral or differential equations. So depending on what type of system we are studying we will choose a proper balance equation. So all these things will be covered in this um, introductory course on material and energy balance or process calculations. So I have divided this course basically into two main uh, sections. One will deal with your material balance, the other will deal with the energy balance. In material balance, we will again see without reaction and with reaction, the processes which are taking place without reaction um, and the processes which are taking place with reaction. So the way we handle these problems, they are little different, not difficult but a little different. So we will tackle these problems. Uh, similarly, for energy balance, we will again see energy balance without reaction and with reaction. So how we take these balances, they differ a little bit in all these uh, processes and we will study step by step how to uh, write balance equations for all these situations. So I am targeting this course to uh, second year students uh, who have just started their study in chemical engineering. and. Um, uh, as you see that I have just timed it such that you are studying it in your class as well as you can come back to my video and you can follow the same concepts which you have learnt in your class and then what I will be doing is that there will be an um, introductory lecture for uh, some concept okay so uh, basically this course I am going to post it like that uh, it will not be chapter wise it will be uh, concept wise so I will take one concept I will explain it in one video and then after that I will post two or three videos in which I will uh, take a lot of numericals okay <laughs> since I am from India so what I will do is I will also take numericals from previous gate years uh, gate papers of previous years and then we will solve them also over here so that it gives you a comprehensive idea of how that particular concept is used uh, in the right areas or the right fields so um, that's what I'm trying to follow. I will try to follow. And if you have any comments or if you want to uh, focus on some topic which I have left as I go along this course, so you can leave a comment uh, over here itself and then I will try to post that uh, uh, video on that particular topic. So please follow and um, let's see how.